Welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. I thought I'd uh, plug in the lawn store on the bench and see what happens. What I want to do is flash an SOIC um, eight-legged uh, chip, which are in the immobilizers. So I'm going to turn this on. I'm just going to set it up as I normally would. So we'll put that one up, up here. Okay, then we're going to go into our box and we're going to find a chip. And this is my new... This is my new kit here, as you can see. I'm starting to label them and put them all away. So I've got some 93C46s, and I've got a whole whole little compartment of them, which is cool. Obviously you can't just buy one, so you gotta buy a whole heap. They're not expensive, so I bought some. There it is there. Okay, and that's my case. We did an unboxing of that. It's made by those people there. Awesome, 30 bucks. Definitely, definitely worth it. Okay, so here is the adapter and all the rest. Here's our clip. This is a fresh chip, so there should be nothing wrong with it. That adapts to that. We need this cable, and we need this one here. All right, so we've got everything we need there. Let's bring this over here. It's probably about the best spot for it, about there. One, two. Okay, we're in. Okay, it's telling me my advanced features are about to expire. Sure. Now, for this to plug this adapter in, we're going to need the cable. And the cable for that is the same cable you use for your OBD. So the large one goes in the back here. Okay, that's a good connection. that out of the way. This now connects into here. Okay, that's now connected as well. It's a bit tangled. We also have to apply 12 volt power to it. Let's connect everything before we do that. This one here just connects in there. Okay, then we connect this board here which is the E01 board. That connects in there. Then we take our clamp here, taking note of where the one position is and taking note of where the little circle is. So we just plug that in there. Making sure everything's connected. Okay, so all of that's connect connected now. I'll apply my power. I have three lights on the programmer, so we should be good to go. I have my cable here indicated with the, the red wire so I look at my chip I find the little dot and then we marry up the red wire with the little dot so just like just like that okay now just checking and I'll zoom in just checking that that's a good connection there and it looks good to me so we should be refocusing okay now we should be good to go okay so I'm going to tilt this up actually you know what I'll turn the light off that'll be even better so you can read the screen okay you can read the screen now zooming in okay and focusing that's better Okay, so we're going to go to adapters. We're going to go EEPROM because we're going to try and read this. Common 93CXX, and this is a 46. Read data. Please supply external power to the KPROG, which we have done. Okay. Downloading application. Now we have to find our correct chip. Let's try the first one chip type 8 bit memory size 128 okay uh, please enter the name of the file to be saved well let's just test T E S T test 1 okay test 1 bin file so it's just the name of the file it doesn't mean anything that the chips blank okay verification Note, read all data 
data F. Okay. Reading finished. Okay. Now let's try to uh, uh, change that data. So we're going to go back and we're going to go to hex editor, hex editor, and we're going to pick up uh, that file. See if I can turn down the brightness on this. Uh, where's the brightness? That reads a, that reads a lot better. Okay, so open file down the bottom. Uh, file. No, I think we went the wrong way there. Close. Open file. Did we find it there. Okay, so we've got some bin files there, and we're looking for test that we. There we are, test one, we just did. So everything's basically an F there. So let's uh, change some of these characters. Edit data, FF, we're gonna change to zero, zero. And then we're gonna move over, zero, zero. Zero, zero. And we're gonna change this to three A. And we're going to close it. Okay, so we'll just put in that little line of data text right there, and then we're going to save file, save. Save it as the same name, overwrite it, yes. Okay, it's saved. Let's go back now. Back, back. Go back to EEPROM. Go back to common. Uh, the right chip, 93C. And then we're going to go uh, uh, write data. Look, it's all plugged in. And we're going to select that chip up the top, which is AT93C468 bit. OK. And it's telling us what chip and memory size. OK. Now we pick up that same test file that we, that we just did, which is down the bottom. OK. Writing finished. OK. Now let's read it. It did say it was verified, but let's just read it to see if, if it is right. Okay. 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 So we basically read it. It created it as a file, and now we have to go back and see in the hex editor. We it created it as a file, and we named it uh, test two. So let's see what happens when we bring up test two. Open file. Test two down the bottom. Okay, and our data, our data is in there. So, why is this helpful? Well, this is helpful, let's say that you don't have a virgin file and um, somebody's remotely helping you, you can actually enter in the data where needed. It's also, it's also an option to actually enter in the data um, on the actual bin file. So you could read your chip, get the actual code off your chip, and then actually put it in if you know where to put it in with your padding and all the rest. Uh, so that is definitely, definitely an option. Or what you might want to do is just read the chip and then write it to a blank transponder file, which should actually work as well. But once again, you have to identify where all of this is. The reason why I'm doing this bench test is because I tried to use it the other day and it just didn't seem to work. Now it's back on the bench, it seems to work. Okay, so that's going over the, um, the KProg adapter and um, reading and saving a bin file. Hope it's been helpful. If you've got anything to add, please leave a comment down below and thanks for watching.